General Hyden says, and I quote, the pace they are moving and the trajectory that they are on will surpass Russia and the United States if we do not do something to change it, unquote. The top general's warning comes after China launched a hypersonic missile on October 16th. Reportedly, the nuclear-capable missile successfully circled the Earth at low altitude and at a velocity of more than five times the speed of sound before landing but missing its target. However, China continues to deny this test. Nearly two weeks ago, foreign ministry spokesperson of China said that China was not conducting any hypersonic missile tests. Listen. This test is a routine spacecraft test. It was used to verify reusable technology. This is of great significance for reducing costs. Earlier, the Pentagon's top general, Mark Milley, the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, compared China's hypersonic missile test to the Soviet Union's Sputnik moment, referring to when in 1957 the Soviet Union launched the world's first satellite, Sputnik, which sparked the superpower's space race. According to publicly available data, as of 2020, China has invested 378 billion US dollars in researching and developing high-tech equipment. It has 3.36 million military personnel combined, accounting for active, reserve and those serving in paramilitary regiments. It has two active aircraft carriers and another one is on its way, which is said to be, which is said to match or even perhaps outclass the USS Gerald R4. It has 79 submarines, six of which are nuclear-powered, 35,000 armored vehicles and over 3,200 tanks. The PLA Air Force has at least 1,200 aircraft that are either classified as fighters or interceptors. As for hypersonics, these are often dubbed the new frontier in missile technology, obviously capable of carrying nuclear warheads, avoiding detection procedures due to flying at low altitudes. These are also said to be highly maneuverable and able to reach targets more quickly at over five times the speed of sound.